Where is the Arab? Where is Governor Patrick, who we've spoken to? Where is he on this issue? Where's Bonnie Frank, who's uh, here? Where's John Kerry? Where's Senator Kerry? Oh. Yeah. Where are they on this issue? These are our kids. My name is Tom DeRosia. I'm the vice president of CLEAN, Citizens Leading Environmental Action Network. We're from New Bedford. Um, our goal and our agenda is to provide the safest, cleanest, best place we can for our teachers and students. Currently, right now, what we have is a school complex built and developed upon a toxic waste dump. This is our, our site we have here. Now, Love Canal was 70 acres. This is roughly 70 acres. This is Love Canal. And that, this, that would encompass just our high school. This is our varsity field, which has been remediated. This is the JV field. This is our track and field here. This is a city yard that's never been addressed, and we know that there's issues here. There's buried 55-gallon drums of PCBs, chemicals. These are uh, residential properties that were bought. This is the old school here that they had, and they needed a new one. So they built a new one on top of the soil when they excavated for the high school. They brought the soil across the street. But you have mixed. And then they built a new school and put a big parking lot on top and put the school on 650 pilings to quote unquote remediate it. Well, when they remediated it, they also remediated the wetlands that were contaminated with high levels of PCBs. And when they dug this out, in essence, they took the, the, the contaminated fill and just put it here. So we know that these are all, this is all contaminated. I'll flip it over to show you. These are the, this is the same picture, but if you notice, there's no soil borings here. And this is the new school we just built. Now, in the meantime, the school itself, um, I guess one of the city councils said that it's cracking in half. This is the new Keith Middle School that cost, I think, $76 million. They, these are the pilings. But this area right here is ash fill. That's got the burn remnants in the ash from the chemicals that were burned and whatnot. And, and in the process of building the school, they followed all the rules and they did things correctly when dealing with contaminants under the ground. With kind of thinking that maybe if they put the school somewhere else, that the millions and millions and millions of dollars spent in monitoring the school be better used to educate our kids. Um, this is our JV and varsity fields that were cleaned up. We actually went and they actually went and cleaned them. And this is our high school where we just recently found out we have VOCs in the groundwater. And that's not very good. We're going to end up with roughly, I think, over 200 acres of contaminated, um, really, really nasty stuff under your feet. This is benzopyrene arsenic at, at 94 parts per million. We have barium at 5,850. Chromium, 2,050. Uh, cadmium, we have lead at 14, 1,400. We have PCBs, boom, 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 all over the place here. Uh, we, have a, we have 104 teachers right now who currently have cancer or who have died of cancer. Listen, a lady, a lady lives right here. Her son has autism. The lady, her best friend, who got pregnant at the same time, lived in the, in the unit across from her. Her daughter is one of a hundred in the world to have this super different neurological something's wrong with her, bad, or one of a hundred. Her son's got autism. This lady died. This lady here's got, got we have people from different age groups, different ethnic, ethnic backgrounds. They all have different diets. They all travel different. We have a mixing part of but yet they all got cancer. And, and most of the people in New Bedford didn't move here. We, we lived here. So I was, I attended this school. They attended this school. You'd think that there would be more curiosity at the minimum. Well, we petitioned Lisa Jackson, the director of the Environmental Protection Agency in Washington, D.C. And Lisa Jackson, we asked her to take over the site because the city was mismanaging the site, we thought. And we assumed they were. It actually comes out that the, this is well above the, the, the ability of, of any city or town to handle. So this is Love Canal all over again, but it's, it's twice the size. And I think they realized that. So Lisa Jackson sent in her troops from the EPA and the, the DEP. Now these aren't the people. These are the, these are the higher ups. These are the people that can get stuff done. And, and they recently agreed to come down and, and extend the sampling. They're going to come down and resample the surrounding properties.
And when I found out it was Bills on Talk to Dump, I'm like, whoa, whoa, time out. 